If he says yes in front of his wife, he did. <laughs> Once upon a time, everyone in the dragon world lived in peace and harmony until a half-gnome, half-orc named Nasty rolled into town. He decided to put a curse on everyone and rip them away from the land of dragons. Luckily, five heroes were able to catch wind of his plan before he was able to enact a terrible curse. Spyro and friends have been transported to the Sims world. Everyone from Dragon World forgot who they are and are trapped in the lives of the Sims. To break the curse, Spyro and friends need to free a member of each Dragon World family, then defeat Nasty Nork to send everyone back home. Can our heroes do it? Will they succeed? You're gonna have to watch to find out. Hello, everyone, especially my 32 subscribers. Welcome back to Spyro Enter the Sim. So I decided everyone needs some time apart from each other, because it was just a mess last episode. A straight up mess. So, I brought Sparks to Blue Velvet Nightclub all by his little lonesome, so he could practice making drinks and uh, get that promotion that he so rightfully deserves. But also, once he's finished with that, we're gonna invite Eliza over and hopefully build a better relationship, which will also hopefully get her out of our house. Yeah. Because I'm tired of those people rudely being in our freaking house. Perfect! So now let's invite a sim to hang out at our current lot. I think my game's glitching. I think my game is glitching. I'm gonna restart everything and I'll be right back. Alright, so that didn't work quite as well as I had hoped. I did realize that part of the problem could be, you know, that it's 12.30 a.m. But I think what's going to happen is I'm just going to go to Eliza's house and be creepy. You know, try and knock on her in front of her husband. The only thing is I don't quite remember which house is theirs. Uh, is it this one? Yes, it is. Except she's not even there, so I have to go home. Okay, well, this plan is turning out to be a bust. Oh, except maybe I can do this with, uh, with Zoe. We're at the house. Don't see anybody. Is it? It's just our household here. All of our rude-ass guests are gone! Yes. Then let's attempt to increase. And as soon as she does all of that, then uh, we're gonna go over to uh, Thomas's. She can invite other people. Whatever. The Artisan House. I'm trying to think. I think Zoe's the only one whose uh, interest doesn't have a spouse already. I have to be invited in. I've already been here before. So where is Thomas? There he is. There he is. Come outside. Or... You know, let's go inside. That works too. You have a lovely home. All right, so let's build up our friendship a lot. I don't think they're going to have any trouble, you know, building up their romance. See, they're enjoying their time together. See, it's it's going up pretty easily. Now let's see if this last one really hits at home. And it does. Okay. See, this is so weird because he's elderly, and she's a young, young adult. Which, I mean, it works for, you know, the storyline. What? Yes. Let's see if we can. They said yes! They said yes, okay. Where are we going? <laughs> We're gonna do this in the kitchen? Oh no, okay, his, his bedroom's downstairs because he can't walk up all those stairs with his elderly age. Break up the candles, make it romantic. Zoe's about to woohoo for the first time. Let's speed through this just a little bit. So, oh, let's ask to be boyfriend. Oh, this is turning out to be a cute relationship. I feel like we probably should have asked to be boyfriend beforehand. You know, before that, all that happened, but. <laughs> Take a selfie for the moment. Propose. Not quite yet. I think we're gonna we're gonna save some of that for later. All right, so we're gonna just really build their relationship now. Oh, look at that passion! Look at this passion! You know, I want their pajamas to match too, because I just love that they had the cutest little scheme, like color scheme together. So she needs something like in gray. Oh, this episode's already working out so much better. It's just so cute. I am happy it doesn't give me the option for uh, check baby, 
like take pregnancy tests yet. Okay, I think just a couple little more intimacies and our bar will be all the way up. Why are you so uncomfortable? <laughs> we're uh, making the kid go away. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna let them become really good friends. I want both their bars to be full so they're like soulmates. Look at how cute they are. Uh, I just, I can't get enough of like the fact that they accidentally meshed so well. Oh, I think she's about to pass out. She can, she can fall asleep over here in her boyfriend's bed. All right, everyone at home is uh, apparently heading off to work. You want to see if there's anywhere that we can dig and things that we can get. Bianca has been promoted to a field agent. Perfect. So Bianca's kind of being the breadwinner right now. <laughs> Prehistoric rock. Cool. Hilariously tiny T-Rex arms. Enormous trilobite. Prehistoric rock. Perfect. All right, so I think we're going to go home. Let's take a count of the house first. Hunter just got home from work. Snapdragons are not in bloom yet. I don't think on either side. Yeah, these ones aren't even matured. Okay, Bianca is working on her logic, which I don't think matters at the moment. Oh, it does. It does. <laughs> you need to work on your fitness. Pretty sure you need to fill out reports and up your logic. So let's have you fill out reports. And then you're going to join that game you need to be not watching tv you need to be cooking all right well zoe has had a full day and as soon as sparks has finished cooking he'll call everyone to meal please don't catch anything on fire this time i'm so done with fires in this game i get it that it's like so funny spyro dragons fire why do these look like sunflowers or chrysanthemums okay call to meal they're enjoying a nice meal they're having a nice game of chess. This is going to work. This is going to work out. And then everyone needs to go to bed. And then we can focus on the next couple that I want to help set up. Nope. Spyro just peaced out. He's done. Teleport herself up here. She needs to browse intelligence. Spyro, did you do everything? Yeah, you filled out your reports. Good enough. Uh, can you repair that? Pretty please. We, okay. We desperately need a trash can. I know I'm trying to I'm trying to save up money. I want to, you know, actually give us a good house. But I'm tired of all the trash. Didn't even cost us that much. Okay. Okay, everyone's going to sleep. So eat the vegetable dumplings. And then you can start your... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, ho, guys! Guys! Really? That's all I'm going to make from these? Well, that kind of sucks. We're going to water all of them. Then we're gonna sell all of them. All right, then we need to get you all pumped up to work out. Oh my god, all of these spoiled. Oops. So she's gonna have a bit of a tummy ache. Very sad. From what? Morning. Who died? <gasps> no! Dennis just died. No. No, this can't, this can't be, this can't be happening. This can't be happening, guys. They were so cute. They were so cute. I should have tried for a baby. I should have tried for a baby. Oh, is it 320 each? Okay, well, this is going to make quite the impact then because I have like almost 40 of these. Okay, this is going to start working. Well, I guess... The other side isn't hasn't come to fruition yet. They haven't matured, but I can't believe it. I can't believe that Thomas is dead. He had to have died at home. He had to have died at home. I can collect the urn. I can do something about this. He cannot be dead. I mean, there is one other male in the artisan house that, you know, I could, could coerce, but I really liked them. Oh, he died right there at the front door. Strength and connection to the physical world. Engrave epithet wish you were here a great man and dragon so i'm gonna just take this you don't even look sad look at you nestor so here's the thing that has to happen now because uh <laughs> because a dead man can't exactly get me pregnant which is part of this uh we're gonna have to 
to make this a little harder. Enchanting introductions. I know we've all kind of met, but let's get you flirty. Enable always minion. So yeah, you'll always be my minion. I can't believe I have to do this. I like this a lot less. So she's going to pretend to like him. That way they can have a dragon baby. Oh my goodness, okay. Apparently they need to be friends first. I have to do this whole process over again now, don't I? So Zoe's learned that uh, Delbin is a stay-at-home dad. That's right, his child is the sheep. He's also self-assured. Oh, he's also gluttonous. And he's married to Alice Nestor. Okay. I had I had one easy relationship. One easy relationship that I shipped so hard and now it got complicated because he died. Okay, so they're becoming good friends. They're okay. They're getting kind of flirty. Awkward encounter. No, no, no. We're we're keeping up the friends thing. Okay. What? Another death? Another death. No. We can't we cannot have more more die. No, no. Argus is staying alive. Can I make death my minion? Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? This might be able to help us. Come on, teleport me inside. Death. You're killing me. Then here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take him away from the situation. Oh, she's so mad. She just caught us flirting. Well, we're gonna break up a family now. That way we can start our own. Meanwhile, Death is in here gonna console her, maybe? <laughs> Get it? Console? Is this gonna happen or is it gonna be blocked? Yeah! I mean, so unfortunate, but... <laughs> And she's just walking through, like, oh, don't mind me in my own house. Being so sad that my mother-in-law just died. Look at how mad she is. Ask to be boyfriend. One episode, she had two boyfriends. If he says yes in front of his wife, he did. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cruel. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, what's going on? Oh, your dad is just a cheating hussy. But it's okay. We'll make our own way. We might not have a giant-ass house like this anymore, but we'll make our own way. Let's go away sad. Oh yeah, your grandma's dead. Well, this seems like about as good a point as any to uh, end the episode. I don't know where she is. Okay. Of course. Had to use this bathroom, because of all the memories. And she's going to go kiss him again. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. If you made it this far, go ahead and leave a like. Comment what you think about all of this chaos in Zoe's life at the moment. I'm glad everyone else is, like, improving their careers and making money and whatever. I'm glad that the Snapdragon plants are finally coming to fruition, so we have, like, a little bit of money. And we'll have more soon. Zoe... One episode, two boyfriends, same family. <laughs> oh, what a mess. If you made it this far in the episode, go ahead and leave- oh, I already said that bit. <laughs> subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you're not new and just haven't subscribed yet. Every like that you get will help make poor little sheep girl uh, not so sad about her family being broken and everyone dying. And uh, yeah, I will... See you guys next time.
they're just gonna kiss again right in front of right in front of the urn. Oh, lovely. All right, bye guys.